Hello and welcome to another episode. In this episode, we're going to see how much my car can actually store in its battery in the middle of winter after three years. So my car, my EV6, which is a first generation EV6, is just over three years old. I'm shortly in a few weeks going to hand the keys back and get a, a brand new EV3, which, well, it's got to be done. I can't help it. There's no way around it. But so what I thought about doing this time was because the figure for total stored energy varies throughout the year, depending on the ambient temperature, I wondered if I could battery precondition on my drive um, from a certain point to warm the, the battery up and then um, see if that increases the total stored energy in winter. And then I'll, I'll see what it comes back with. The problem with the battery preconditioning is it, it's only designed to be used in the first generation EV6 whilst the car is actually on and normally being driven. But you can park it and you can activate it on your drive. So the only issue then is to secure your car. So I've got my stop lock on on the steering wheel. Um, and what I'm going to do to lock the car, because you can't lock it in the normal fashion because the car thinks it's running and you can't do things, is I'm going to drop the window and I'm going to lean in and press lock. And then I'm going to pull the window up. Now, I have tested this and I found that you cannot use the, the keys uh, normal method of opening the door. So pressing unlock on the car key won't open the car because it's locked on the inside. And pressing the touchpad won't work either. So there are two methods of getting to the car once you've done this. One is Kia Connect to open it. And two is the manual physical key. So I'm going to use Kia Connect to open it once it's done its preconditioning. Um, you can actually monitor the preconditioning from Kia Connect on your phone in the app. So I will use that to see when it's finished and then I'll finish off the charging session up to 100%. Um, I'll just take a look at what car scanner is saying the current uh, minimum, maximum battery temperatures are. And then I'll start the preconditioning by picking my local InstaVolt charger, which is just down the road. Now I try to test this at 95%, but the preconditioning would not operate at 95%. I then uh, tried lowering it and lowering it, and I found out it's it's basically 89, 90% where you can start battery preconditioning. So that's another thing to remember. Right, so looking at the dashboard. Um, okay, I've got my car scanner open. Uh, battery min is nine degrees centigrade or Celsius. Battery max is 11. So it's got a bit of a way to go to warm the battery. So I'm gonna get on and start that. I'm just going to show you what I do. Press more and then set as destination. Start guidance. If I put the radio screen on and with, with, with the energy split screen, you can actually hear Once it starts and the message pops up on here and the coil comes on, then I'll leave the car to it and lock it. If you've got a model year 2022 EV6 and it doesn't have battery preconditioning, you can get it upgraded. I'll put a link to my video on getting that done in the comments because uh, someone asked me about this um, and what it costs, maybe 150, 200 quid, unless you can persuade your dealer to do it for nothing. But they end up paying it for themselves. There's no warranty available for it. And there we go. So I'll stop this now and we'll come back to it once I get the message on Kia Connect. Right, I'm just... Uh, opening up Kia Connect and I'm going to do a refresh and that should show me as battery conditioning on the status screen. There you go, conditioning in pro progress. So I can monitor that from the house. Right, and I've turned the screen off by pressing and hold the power button 
till it beeps and that goes off, turns that display off, and I've turned the, the uh, brightness down on the main cluster. Now, I'll open the window. This is how you lock the car. And pull the window up. And then I'll come back when it's done. Condition's finished, so now I've got to open it with Care Connect. I'm in. Right, so it's charged to 100% after the battery preheating. So what did I get? This was in actually nine degrees. Um, I've got a previous one at five degrees, so that's the closest I could compare to this. So what we got was 72.888, which works out at 1.51% degradation or loss. That compares with uh, at five degrees, 1st of December 23 at 72606, which is 1.88% loss. At 19 degrees in 1st of September 2024, we got 73350, which is 0.87% loss. So that was only last September. So if I rerun this test at the same temperature, I'd likely get better data. I also wonder if I'd started the battery preconditioning lower down at the state of charge than 90%, whether I would get more kilowatt hours in. Anyway, it's food for thought. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching.